at Fine Rising. My name is Daniela, I am 22 years old and I'm from Buckinghamshire. I'm going to be bringing you all along with me on my journey recovering from a knee injury and also part learning my first four. With everything going on with COVID, I had so much more spare time on my hands and I hadn't been riding for about two or three years. So I decided to get back into it and booked a few lessons at my local yard. Instantly, my love and passion for it came back and once I was confident enough, I realised I wanted something that was a bit more than once a week. I wanted something I could love as my own and regain my confidence with and sort of relearn everything at my own pace. So at that point, I started looking for a lone horse and it wasn't until the second horse that I went to go and see that I realised that I had a possible injury, something was going on with my knee that was affecting my riding. I had an absolutely terrible ride that day. I drove home absolutely devastated. I was crying most of the way home and all in all it was just an absolutely terrible day. So with me only just recently getting back into it, I was so happy and then all of a sudden it just got stripped away from me. I didn't know how bad it was. I didn't know if I would even be able to ride again. I know that there are so many out there just like me who they've had a fall, they've had a knock, something's happened, you've got an injury. You don't know if you can overcome it, if you are gonna be motivated enough and you feel absolutely crap about it. And it's okay to feel like that. I felt exactly the same. Often you can blame yourself, you can completely shut down and you know, it happens, but everything happens for a reason. This process showed me that if I hadn't have gone to see that second horse, I wouldn't have realised that I had that issue with my knee. So I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. If you know in your heart that you absolutely love what you do, you adore it, it makes you happy, then you can overcome that fear, you can overcome that injury and you can get to the position that you want to be in. The videos that are coming, they are not the best quality, they were filmed by my mum and she's a terrible recorder so I will pre-warn you and apologise in advance for the quality of them. However, I've got my GoPro arriving soon so the next video that you'll see will be much better quality so stay tuned to check that out. I had a few flat lessons, just regaining back my confidence, relearning everything that I'd missed over those past few years. I had one jumping lesson with them, it was absolutely terrible weather on that day, it was heavily raining and I got absolutely soaked. I will admit that my posture looks absolutely terrible in this, um, the way I've ridden and jumped is absolutely terrible I know, however I have only just got back into it and I wanted to show you guys everything from the beginning of my journey so please no hate, no judging, I just wanted to be open and honest and hopefully I can help somebody else in the same situation as me. After a couple of months of lessons at the yard, my confidence was back again and I wanted something a bit more than once a week, so I started looking into a part loan horse. I did have a specific criteria for everything that I would be looking for, so I made sure that any horses that I did inquire about fitted that criteria. So what I wanted was a confidence giving type horse that I could relearn everything on, not something that was too young and too green that would spook or that I could possibly get scared on as obviously I, I've only just recently got back into it. Something that I could black, hack out alone or in company and jump once or twice a week. The first horse I went to go and see was called Impy. He was absolutely gorgeous, a bit of a chunky boy as you can see. So I started off with having a quick chat with the owners and then I hopped on, warmed him up and I had a bit of a trot. And then once I was comfortable I went into a canter. In the canter straight away he tried to veer towards one of the jumps that was in the middle of the school so I just had to circle him back round. At that point I didn't realise that I had an issue with my knee and that the cues I was giving him was actually veering him on. So he was going quite fast and I didn't feel as though I had as much control as I would have liked to. So I didn't canter for too long on either rein and then I warmed him down, got off and had a bit of a more detailed chat with the owners. And they explained a few little quirks that he had like stopping in front of puddles and just a few other things that I wasn't totally comfortable with. So at that point I did realise that he probably wasn't the best horse for me. 
I then started looking for another lone horse and I came across an advert where a lady had put up that she had a few horses on the yard that could suit potential sharer. Um, I think it was two or three horses that she had. Um, we spoke over the phone quickly and she said that the, probably the best suited to me would be her mare that was four years old. She was an ex race horse, so I was already a bit nervous at that point and a bit cautious and I said to her, listen, I don't know, she's gonna be a bit too green for me. I'm not overly experienced. I don't know if I'll be comfortable enough handling such a young horse but she said to me listen she's not your typical four-year-old at all she's lovely and she has a good temperament etc so I thought you know what why not I'll give it a go and I'll go and ride and just see how it feels so when we got there I had a long chat with her she was absolutely lovely and the plan was that I would go into the menage quickly and I'd have a walk truck canter and then we would go out on a short hack together however Instantly when I got in there and I was on, I just felt really odd. I had a really weird feeling about it and I just felt a bit on edge. It was honestly, I can't even describe the feeling, but really that was, it must've been a sign because what happened next was a bit um, embarrassing. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the clips now. I had a trot on her. I had a terrible canter on her and then he fell off. Um, anyway, I'll show those to you now so that you can just get a proper insight into what happened and how I discovered that I had that injury. I had a walk around and then went into a trot. I was struggling a little bit in the trot to keep her at a steady pace and I think she was getting a bit too quick for me so the owner offered some guidance as she was actually an instructor. Um, so I managed to get her back controlled and listening to me and then the owner said okay do you want to have a bit of a canter with her? And at that point in my head, I was really thinking, gosh, I'm really nervous to canter. I don't know if I want to do this, but you know, you've got to snap out of it because you can't come and see a lone horse and not canter them because it's just not going to be a true representation of them. So I snapped myself out of it and I went into a canter. This was where it went all wrong. It went absolutely sideways. So for some reason, I just could not sit with this canter. I was bouncing around all over the place. Almost instantly my feet had slipped right to the back of the stirrups so I had no control of the stirrups either and my legs were probably flapping around and she was thinking that I was kicking her on. So I thought I'd just come on and explain what exactly happened uh, after that. I managed to get the horse to stop and then had a chat with the owner in the middle of the arena and asked if I had an issue with my hip or with my knee. And at the time I couldn't think of anything that there would be that would be affecting that, nothing that came to mind that I had an injury or any sort because I didn't really have any issues at that time. And she was explaining that as I'm sat on the horse, obviously my left foot, say this is my foot, it's sitting straight and my right foot, it was sitting like this, sitting out to the right. So my heel here, was constantly sort of kicking slash pushing them on. So obviously the horses that I was riding thought that that meant I wanted them to go forward, which is obviously why all of the horses that I'd ridden up until that point were quite forward and I, I was struggling to get control because I didn't realise that my foot was actually pushing them on and that was something that I, I couldn't really control and I didn't, I wasn't even aware of it at that point. So I went away from that, I was quite upset, I was devastated, I didn't really know what was going on. I then started thinking about what the owner had said about uh, having an issue in my knee or hip. And I realised looking back to it that I'd actually had a drunken fall when I was about 19 or 18 and I fell down a hill, imagine, typical, um, when I was drunk and it affected my knee that every so often my knee would feel like it was clicking out of place and I would have to sort of bend down and it would like click back in if you see but it wouldn't it wouldn't actually like click out but that's just how it felt and then after that about six months later I had an issue again with my knee and I couldn't walk for about a month I couldn't walk at all I was on crutches it was terrible and I'd booked in with the doctors to go and see a physiotherapist and I remember that they had put me on a waiting list and it was for like two or three months away and I was really fed up. Um, anyway, it ended up just actually fixing itself and then I actually forgot about the physio, never ended up going. So all in all, really, this was my fault. I should have gone to the physio and I wouldn't have this issue. But you know, things happen. Obviously, I, I didn't realize that it would affect me in this way because at that point I wasn't riding still. 
So obviously now that I've come back into riding, I'm realizing that this is actually affecting the way I'm riding. Thankfully, I have a family friend. She's a physiotherapist slash chiropractor. So I booked an appointment in with her the next day. Straight away, I wanted to find out what's going on, find out if this was something that I could fix or if it was something that I would have for the rest of my life and that I wouldn't be able to ride with. When I got there, I explained to her what had happened a few years ago, uh, what the issue was, what was happening with my foot, etc., and how it was affecting my riding. She then did a few little exercises with me. She put my knee in a few different positions. She checked how well the movement was with it, and she found that I could not move my foot inwards as much as you should be able to. So constantly, even when I'm just walking, my foot's placed out to the right. So uh, originally she thought that I could possibly have a torn meniscus slash fractured meniscus. So your meniscus is actually sort of this part of your knee here. So she gave me a list of exercises that I needed to do over the next week. And that would test whether I had a torn meniscus, that whether that was the issue. And she explained that if it was the issue, then I would really struggle doing those exercises I would be in a lot of pain and it just wouldn't work so that was sort of a trial and error theory really I had to do that for the next week so I carried on doing those for the next week I didn't have any issues apart from it was a little bit sore so I was quite hopeful at that point thinking that it wouldn't be a torn meniscus and that it was something completely different so I went back again the week after I explained what had happened and she already said that from those exercises the movement in my knee and in my foot was a lot better than it was before prior to doing anything with it and she thinks that it was actually an issue instead of being down here it's actually sort of this side of the knee here there so once she figured that out again I had to keep going back um, I think I went for four or five sessions with her each week she did a number of exercises with me I was given my little homework to do every day I had to do exercises with my knee I had to put it in certain positions and I had to stretch it just to encourage movement of that collateral in my knee because I hadn't been doing it for so many years and this issue had been there for so many years it was something that I would have to work on probably for a long time and I still am working on it so thankfully it wasn't anything that was too serious it wasn't something that I couldn't fix so I was so thankful that it all worked out okay for me and that I can actually still ride as soon as I get on a horse obviously now I know that my foot does fall out to the right so I always have to concentrate on keeping it straight and when I'm riding it does feel very odd it it feels abnormal to try and force it for, to be straight because of how long it's been in that position and it's been sort of damaged slash injured and I've not done anything with it so I'm slowly getting there but it's still a work in progress and it's just something that I'm gonna have to work on and it's just something that I am gonna have to live with that I've got this issue in my knee because I'm a drunken mess. <laughs> From there, it took me a little while to figure out the issue that I had in my knee. So I did have a break from searching for my dream part line horse. Once I realized that it was then a lot stronger on my knee, I went for a final session with her and she said, listen, your knee is getting a lot, lot better. The movement in it is so much better and it's a lot stronger and you should be able to start to get back on and try and test that theory out whilst riding. So I went back again for a few lessons at my yard and then I started looking again for a part loan horse. And this was where I found Puzzle, who is now my part loan horse. So again, it was on preloved.com. They are absolute godsend website. If you're looking for a part loan horse, they are the website to look at. I will tell you that now. So anyway, I found Puzzle. I went to go and see the yard. I don't have any videos of that time actually because we just went out on a short hack and I met with the owners. They was absolutely lovely. Everyone at the yard was lovely. And on the spot, I knew that he was the perfect horse for me and he was just absolutely a little gem. So I then agreed to part loan him and that is who I've been part loaning for the past month. So the next video that I'm going to be uploading, which will be next week, I will be introducing Puzzle to all of you guys and you'll get to see who he is and you'll see our first hack together as well. I did have a bit of a mishap on our first hack, it was absolutely a nightmare but you will see all of that in our next video so subscribe to catch those videos and turn on your notifications if you want to be notified when my video is uploaded. See you then!